YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion. Y'all know what I do, guys. Welcome to the sneaker cave. And this is for people that actually like sneakers. And uh, we not just copping for hype, we buying what we like around here. And I mean, if you don't know nothing about that, man, shh, you must ain't been watching the previous videos. Like, look at the videos, man. Look at the work. Now, it is times when I happen to like certain sneakers that's hype, but you know we don't get we don't get hung up on that. You know what I mean? When you say sneakerhead, that mean diverse. You know what I mean? It's not so and so head insert brand. You know what I mean? This is sneakerhead stuff. And some people think it's corny to say sneakerhead, man. I'm not trying to put myself in a box, but I'm calling it what I'm calling it right here. You know what I mean? And to me switching up and being diverse is actually one of the best things you can do having all these kicks like being a sneaker guy now it's no knock to anybody that's just collecting only yeezys and only just jordans and only just first thing first i got the new balance 850 and i like showing you guys the boxes because this is like my sneaker review on you know nobody else doing a review on them because they're not hype or they're not gonna get all the crazy views and all that a regular person that's probably not even in a kicks all like that probably don't even know about these. So this is the box right here. I got a half size down, nine and a half. But stick to your true New Balance size right there. So um, whatever you wear in New Balance, just get that. Now, I know you guys seen my, if you haven't seen them rather, go look at my previous New Balance 850 videos, different colorways. Um, basically these is the same way you know uh, now these aren't leather like the previous ones but everything else is still the same so but I like to buy my sneakers on discount personally when I can get them and when the sneaker is running out of you know stock or it's hard to find it's getting harder to find as the weeks or months come go on I've learned in my sneaker head uh history <laughs> to just pick up on the sneaker before it's just all gone it's too many sneakers i took l's on slow l's rather um just by trying to wait till it get like cheap you know what i mean and we're definitely in a different sneaker climate um now as soon as you get under that hundred dollar price point regular people start buying the sneakers you know what i mean so and it's nothing wrong with that but uh just know as a sneaker person that's what you're going up against once the sneaker is going for less than a hundred bucks that's why those sneaker videos the hundred dollars or less videos is real popular so let me get off into the sneaker so first thing first you got the tahitian pink and new buck going around the whole upper or most of the upper and under some of the new buck parts of the upper now this upper right here it feels like felt the tahitian pink the purple as well feels like felt but i will say that this feels like a suede or a new buck at the beige parts of the paneling on the sneaker you also have that gray mesh as well i'm surprised they just didn't make it purple like this like they did on the berry purple ones that i have but this this gray just not throws it off but it also flows with this going through to the tongue you also have a gray mesh going up the tongue for breathability going to the back of the tongue you also have the tahitian pink going to the sock liner you have the tahitian pink going along the ankle black insole with the new balance running logo also along the sock liner it's like a subtle gray it's not completely white i wear black socks i'm part of black sock gang so i know the fuzzies will definitely appear in here this thing is definitely a lint magnet as far as the new buck go you also got 3m at this little peak right here it's not really the biggest big reflective deal also going to the sole or the outsole as people call it usually these are black at least for the ones that i have and this is the only blue colorway i have as far as the outsole go and uh at least for this like this model again because most of them is black so that was definitely different and i think that adds a pop of color to the sneaker the sneaker looks fun i like the i like those pop of color sneakers sometimes i'm serious and i wear conservative colors but also i like a lot of things that express a lot of colors as well you know just just to be a little bit more versatile and one of my favorite parts to the sneaker 
is definitely the New Balance 850. Like I also said in a previous video with these sneakers, is that this font, this 850 font, reminds me of an ACG kind of like font. This looked like a trail sneaker in a way. And the colors on here are fun, more so like a trail, southwestern kind of like vibe in a way. And uh, that's what I get from this sneaker. Now, traditionally, this sneaker was not you know, it's just meant for regular running. It's not necessarily made for trail. At the bottom, you do got some kind of hell of attraction at the forefront. Almost kind of like feel like a cheese grater to the hand. <clears throat> Most of you guys already see what the colorway is anyway, but I'm gonna go so more so into the tech as far as this sneaker go. You got the absorb technology on the back. And one of the things I do like about New Balance is, yeah, they also do the fashion and lifestyle fit stuff. But I like the fact that they actually still have tech to actually um, help people with foot problems. Now you don't have any elastic bands going along the lace area. It's just a typical embroidered sneaker with a little bit of 3M reflective along the embroidery as well once it's in the light. And uh, going to the back, you obviously have that, that dark, like that dull white New Balance right there. Definitely something different. Now, this is either a make it or break it sneaker. Some people gonna hate it, some people gonna like it. The model is not the best to some people. I'm not saying it's the best of all time neither, but this is definitely a, a unique, obscure model. Again, especially for something that's really haven't been seen since 1996. You got the roll bar technology. This is just to stabilize the foot once you're running, walking, whatever some people foot come down they call it pronation and this is when the foot comes down uneven sideways either inward or outward the real bad one is if it comes down outward this is how you can sprain your ankle unknowingly now what the roll bar actually do it actually stabilizes the foot and actually keeps it stable as you're walking long story short that kind of tech i felt like was definitely unique don't really too much see that nowadays on sneakers it's probably not even worth mentioning unless it's like a common thing in sneakers but new balance they're not as far as their tech and when you're looking that kind of stuff up it's not really hard to find and that roll bar actually attaches on this side and actually goes through to the other side as well now with the history as far as the sneaker go this was actually made by a woman stephanie howard i mentioned this in a previous video as well and she graduated college in 94 and came to New Balance shortly after that. Now she signed on as a designer for the New Balance brand. And one of the big things at that time was uh, they wanted something new, they wanted something fresh. So she ended up doing that. And one of the epic things that she did was remove the end for New Balance off the sneaker. Going to the back, she ended up just putting the New Balance on the back right there definitely a flying flames kind of thing and uh it kind of you know it reminds me of what tinker hatfield did i mentioned this in a previous video as well about these but you know every time i get this sneaker in hand as far as the history go it just reminds me of what tinker hatfield did with the jordan 3 he took the the swoosh off you know now they dropped the tinker threes with the swoosh on them but obviously we know the three as it without the swoosh and basically when he did that that's what this remind me of classic 8.5 i like them i like them this is probably my favorite colorway so far especially like retro plus colorway i don't too much know the og colorway specifically i know the white black and blue one is the og one for sure this is one of sneakers where like i feel like the colorway is definitely going to make you either buy buy this sneaker or not let's switch it up let's have a little bit of fun you know thanks for everybody's been watching my previous videos too guys but you know, stay tuned. I got more heat on the way. I got more kicks on the way, rather. And, uh, you know, heat is subjective. So, buy what you like. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I am out. Peace.